Welcome to the prayer for the city. This is simply a prayer I've put together where I'd like to pray for anyone within the sound of my voice. All I ask you to do is to agree with me as I pray, and together we will seek our Heavenly Father. Please continue to meditate on this prayer for yourself. Speak it daily or listen to this over and over again, and allow the Word of God to reach deep into your spirit. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we gather together and come into agreement in the wonderful and powerful name of Jesus. Where two or more are gathered, there you'll be in the midst of us. And anything we agree upon as touching, you will surely do. The Bible says that if there's any unforgiveness, that it should be dealt with before praying. Therefore, we release any anger, bad feelings, resentment, or any other wrong attitude before you now. We lay it at your feet, and we release and forgive those who have wronged us. Father, in Jesus' name, there's no distance in the Spirit, and we thank you for the listener who desires a prayer for their city. Father, in Jesus' name, we give thanks for the city that's on the listener's heart and its government. Right now, in prayer, we intercede for its leaders and their families. We lift up all those in authority over the city in any way. Father, we pray that the Spirit of the Lord would rest upon them. In Jesus' name, we believe godly wisdom has entered into the heart of the, of the head of the city, Father, and knowledge is pleasant to them. Yes, we declare that discretion watches over them, understanding guards and delivers them from evil. Glory to your name. Father, we ask that you encircle the leaders, Father, of the city with people who make their hearts and their ears attentive to godly counsel and walk right in your sight. May it be a city known for your light. Through your power, we declare that you are causing the leaders of the city to be people of integrity who are obedient, God, Father, concerning the people in the, in, in the city, uh, that they may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and honesty. In fact, if any person in leadership does not know you, we call the blindfolds removed from their eyes that are blocking them from knowing the truth of the gospel. We ask in Jesus' name that laborers cross their path with the good news. Praise you. We pray that they would operate in city government, Father, uh, those leaders, Father, that are blameless and complete in your sight, that only those, Father, that are blameless and complete in your sight, Father, would operate in city government. It is written in your word that the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord, and you can turn it whichever way you desire. That's what it says. And we believe, we believe it, and we believe that the heart of the leadership, Father, of the city is in your hand as well, and that their decisions are directed of you, Lord. We declare that those who have integrity and are maneuverable, Father, in your hand shall remain. We declare that the wicked and evil leadership shall be cut off from city government, and the treacherous shall be rooted out. Hallelujah. Father, your word declares that blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, and no doubt blessed is the city whose God is the Lord too. So together in prayer with the listener, we receive your blessing for the city that is on the listener's heart. We declare that you are the city's refuge. You are the city's stronghold in times of trouble. On the authority of your word and in faith, we declare with our mouths that your people dwell in safety in this city and they prosper abundantly. The body of Christ in this city are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. Praise you that Jesus can be preached in this city, that the gospel is spreading mightily, Father, whether it be above ground in daylight or even underground. We speak strength into all those who are facilitating the preaching of your word. We decree and declare, Father, that the word of the Lord would prevail and grow in the hearts and lives of the people. Yes, Jesus is Lord over the city. Now, we lift up all levels of government in the city, those in authority like judges, the police, teachers, uh, the business leaders, Father, all those who are in leadership positions in this city. We call them protected from evil. Father, please keep them safe and free from all harm. In Jesus' name, we pray that you will keep good men and women in authority over this city. Even now, we thank you that you are stirring up and nurturing, growing a remnant of people, politicians, men and women of truth, Father, full of wisdom and respectful, Father, reverent towards you that you can use in these last days. We ask in Jesus' name, that, that Father, that, um, that you keep these, these men and women in leadership positions, Father, and that you fill them with understanding, wisdom, and the ability to keep their city in order and under control. Praise your name. Please grant the heads of all levels of city government, Father, the ability to make decisions that will promote godliness and continue to work your overall plan for the city. Please keep evil and wicked men from influencing the leaders of the city. In Jesus' name, we plead the blood of, of Jesus uh, around those leaders, Father. We draw a bloodline around them, Father, those who, are who you are working in and through. We ask that you help keep them, Father, in their positions of authority 
based on things, Father, that are right, that because they're living right, doing right, and being right, Father, thank you that those positions of authority are safe and sound with your blessing. Praise you for born-again believers in leadership positions, Father, in this city. Thank you. Please strengthen them now, Father, with all might by your Spirit in Jesus' name. All our brothers and sisters, Father, in the Lord, we call them strengthened with all might by your Spirit. Glory, we ask that you make them bold and courageous. Surround them with favor and angelic protection as a shield and expand their godly influence. Right now, we lift up all leaders within the city's judicial system, Father. We pray that they would make righteous judgments. In Jesus' name, that they would that they would reach just, sound, and fair conclusions. In Jesus' name, we also ask that they would reverse and change past decisions and to make new decisions, Father, that uphold goodness and godliness in the city. Hallelujah. If there's anyone within the city, Father, who is standing in the way, they're blocking the way of your good plan for the city, we bind them and call them removed from their position of authority in Jesus' name. Grant all the good city leaders wisdom, knowledge, and understanding needed, Father, to deal with the city finances, Father, that you may cause them to prosper and be a blessing to other cities, Father, even all the way up to being a blessing to their country. We praise you, Father, for all the people that are born again from within the city, thanks to your goodness and the gospel prevailing. With right leadership in place, Father, your destiny is unfolding and working mightily. Glory to your name. Thank you for blessing this city that's on the listener's heart. Thank you, Father, for the guardian angels assigned to the city, those assigned to protect the inhabitants. In the name of Jesus, we stand victorious over the principalities, the powers, the rulers of darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in high places that are over the city. Father, you said for the thoughts and plans that you have are thoughts and plans for welfare and peace and not for evil to give us a hope in your final outcome. Lord, by the blessing and the influence of the upright in your favor, because of them, this city is blessed and exalted. We also declare unity and empowerment to the body of Christ that is in this city. We thank you that the numbers of people giving their life to Jesus is exploding. We call all members of the body of Christ in this city blessed, abundantly, and prospered in Jesus' name. Praise your name forever. We believe and receive everything we prayed and give you glory in advance, for this prayer is answered. In the wonderful and precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.